Hello and welcome to the Golden Rock Podcast, bringing you some of the latest and greatest Pokemon news and a few laughs along the way. I'm Ben, and as always, I'm joined by fellow Pokemon enthusiast, Connor. Before we begin, you can jump around the podcast by using the timestamps in the description below. Connor, how's your week going so far? It's going all right, mate. It's going all right. I'm... We are now in November. We are now slowly stepping towards the release date of Scarlet and Violet and the and the, the the anticipation is building. There you go. I got the word out eventually. The anticipation is finally building up in me. And I'm a little bit terrified. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm, oh, I'm ready. Ooh, okay. Well, okay. So I'm also ready for it. And I think I'm, I, I was just about to ask you why you're nervous, but I've got a feeling we're probably both on the same wavelength with that, where it's shaping up to be a really good game. And the hype over the last couple of weeks it has been building. Um, but of course... The more you are looking forward to something, the more there's that risk that it might not meet your expectations. Is that about right? The same for you? Yeah, pretty much. I Again, it is the nerves they are getting to me because I want this to be good. I want yes. this to be great. Oh, yes. But there's still little niggles in the back of my head that are, that are getting to me like, ah, that might be an issue, you know? Yep. Are the gyms going to scale? Is any of it going to scale? If they don't, is that really going to impact the game? Is it going to feel open world enough mm. i don't know mm. no i I, th- I think we're on the same wavelength where we've said before there's a there's a there's like you know we i know 95 percent of what i need to know going into this game there's that little five mm-hmm. percent where i'm like just i i don't need the answers what i well no Sorry, yeah. I don't need all the details <laughs> but i do need some of the answers to my questions so that i can go into this going Right, okay. My expectations are set based on what they've said, and I'm not going to be disappointed. And for me, it's, it's, it is around the um, whether or not there is scaling, which I don't think there is, so I don't think I'm going to be disappointed if it's not the case. Um, but for me, I think we said it last week, the multiplayer. I want a little the bit more about the multiplayer. Like you, you, You've teased us with what this is capable of, but haven't actually said you can do this you can't do this if i had that information i'd be like that's that's fine i know what i'm what i'm getting into what i don't want to do is load up the game with friends let's all join together let's try this oh you can't do it let's do this yeah that that's not possible oh right so what can you do you can only do a b and c oh well it would have been nice to know from the outset that we could only do that um i I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't have a bigger trailer to discuss this week. So, it's a five-minute trailer. It is. It's a Japanese-only five-minute trailer, but we have had the... uh... We have had the translation for yes, it. Yes, so we have. But thank, thank you, Poki Sutami. You absolute legend. Definitely. So, I guess my disappointment, though, is... For me, nothing new, nothing new. It's a, it's basically a recap of information that we already have. Which, to be fair, if this is your first experience, if you've somehow managed to completely avoid Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, any news about it, and you happen to come across this, uh, this trailer, your mind is probably blown. You're probably thinking, "Wow, Pokemon has come in leaps and bounds compared to whatever generation you previously played." But for us, and maybe that is part of. Our problem is that we are so hot on this every week. We are, you know, keeping an eye on Twitter, Ready, YouTube, the the Pokemon website, and we're breaking things down. Maybe that's why this doesn't add anything for me. I'm not, I think, yeah, it just doesn't add anything. I think that's the crux of my issue here. Yeah, do you remember, was it last week or the week before, I said, we're going to get more trailers coming out now? Mm but they're going to be for normies. They're going to be for the average consumer. Yeah. And that's very much what this was. Yeah. Like, it was... Like, it was five minutes long. It was a good... It would have been great to have this be my first experience of Scarlet and Violet. Yes. But it wasn't. I knew all this stuff going in. It looks better than it ever has. Agreed. So glad about that. Yes. You know, there are shots and scenes in here that we haven't seen before. You Mm -hmm. know, you see yourself with, like, the Grafii playing in the background. Yeah. We get a little bit more of that um, that opening scene when you pick your starter and you get to see, like, the Sprigatito leaning on your arm. It's so cute. Like, the Pokemon look alive. I'm yes. very happy with it. Uh, we didn't just get the one trailer. There were a couple back-to-back. Uh, I think there was three in total. The others weren't as long. 
same kind of principle. Nothing yeah. new was shown. It was just here. Here's the most up to date version of the game. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. I I think that's a that's a really fair assessment. Um, I just to mirror what you said. Yeah, that there are shots in this that look absolutely gorgeous. Um, and what I what I do actually enjoy is that. I'd imagine there's going to be a lot of those kind of shots in the game where, you know, there's beautiful scenery going on, you know, the entrances to towns and being wowed by them. I'm glad they're not spoiling all them in the trailers. I'm glad we're going no, to get, be able to get in, go into this game and, you know, you're going to approach somewhere and go, wow, look at that. I'm just going... It's a great feeling when you're playing a video game and you know it's just all digital assets on a TV. It's not real, but the moment when you stop and you just your character stood there and you just rotate the camera and you think, wow, this is absolutely beautiful. And I cannot wait to experience those moments. And even better, you can use the um, the camera system in game as well, which we knew was coming. But one confirmation that we did get from the um, the translation was that you can use those for your profile picture, which yep. wasn't confirmed last time. Uh, but we did speculate on they would uh, like basically replace the um, the card trainer feature, cards. the trainer card feature that was uh, available in Sword and Shield. So I'm absolutely on board with that because that is one of the highlights in Sword and Shield for me. When you are battling somebody, it pops up with that card and the creativity that some people put into it, despite it being very limited in that game. So I'm looking forward to just seeing what people can do in Scar uh, Scarlet and Violet. Yeah. There was one shot that I was very excited for, which was we could see the inside of the school for the very first time. Yes. Um, yes. It's a very, very brief moment, um, but you do get to see like a library section. Mm. It looks big. It And again, if this is the case of you can wander around the world and go into buildings and the buildings yes. themselves are big open spaces, maybe not every building, but yeah. we've seen the inside of like a bakery shop as well. and. Theoretically, See, there's no need to go in one of those. Yeah, well, no. So it'd be really cool if you could go into the buildings that are scattered around the yes. world. There's not going to be many of them. They're yep. going to be isolated to the cities. This does seem mm -hmm. to be very much the same, obviously more so, but uh, along the same veins as uh, Legends Arceus, where it's small built up areas yeah. and then vast wildlands. Yeah, which I'm happy with. And I'm not one of them that needs to be able to go into every... Um every building in a city because let's be honest with you when you're walking through your town you're not going into every building you come across are you to oh i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go into this person's house and nick the pokeball that they've got in the corner like it doesn't make sense in the real world like let us go into the buildings where it makes sense like you said a library a bakery for whatever reason like those kind of buildings and flesh them out a lot more I'm okay, so you so you reckon keep it more limited, but expand on those yes. ones that you do. I, agreed. I don't need to. I don't need to go into every single house in a city to find little odds and bits and whatnot. And it doesn't make sense for me just being able to. It's a running joke in the RPG community that you can just run into houses, walk into people's houses, yeah, <laughs> take things, and they don't do anything about it. So make it so, you know, there are a limited number of buildings you can go into. Um, and then that way you don't need to do the same copy and paste where you've got three or four houses in a row that all have the same interior. Um, you know, take the time to really flesh out the buildings that you do go into. I'm hoping that library is similar to the one in BDSP, but more expansive where there is, you know, loads of, um, loads of bookshelves that you can, you know, go to and you can get a bit of lore um, around the region as well. I'd really, really enjoy that. I, uh, you know, yeah, I'd, I'd be, I'd be a lot, a lot happier with that. I agree. Cantilever Library is one of the, and that's kind of one of the main reasons I want to have these buildings that you can walk into because mm. the limited ones we've had, you know, Cantilever Library. There's so much lore there. In Legends Arceus, there was a, there was a couple of buildings you could go, or there was a couple of tents you could go mm. into when you went to either of the clans. Uh, Sort of oh, I didn't know place. that. Oh, right. Yeah, there's a there's a couple of tents you can go into, and that's where you find out that like the founders of each of the clan are Archie and Maxie's ancestors, because there's portraits of them up on the wall. Oh, yes, I have seen that. Yes, and then in across both of them is what looks to be like Alder or Alder's ancestor, and the fact that he is portrayed in both clans symbolizes that he was the ancient hero who got the ten 
Pokemon, the 10 noble Pokemon together. And it's little touches like that, like little, oh, just, it's beautiful. And I love it. And that's why I just want to be able to go into these buildings. And I'm really excited to have out a library. Yeah, de absolutely agree. Um, what else stood out then to you? Was there any anything else that people might have missed? Uh, there was, there's one thing I saw. Mm -hmm. I'm up, up mm, on the fence about it at the moment. It was not in the five minute long trailers. It was in one of the little side trailers that they had. I think it's the one that specifically focuses around like Eevee. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, you run up in the grasslands. There is a sawsbuck and a deerling off to the side. And then towards the back, and I've sent you an image of this, yes. but for anybody else, go to go to my Twitter if you want to see the image. Uh, there is two Pokemon, two white beige Pokemon. Now, I put this out there. People have said that's a Meowth and a Persian. I'm not sure mm. it is, but it is very blurry. Yes, so it's it unknown. It is unknown. It might be a, a Meowth and Persian, and it's just the fact that it's zoomed in and the draw distance in the game, maybe. I'm I'm not sold on it because if it is a Persian, it is missing some very key features that that Pokemon has. Um, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that one. Also, it's standing right next to a Sawsbuck. I'd have assumed that Persian would like feast on Sawsbuck. I, like, I just so. don't imagine those two coexisting very well in the wild. No, you're right. Yeah, P Persian. I mean, if the anime's taught me anything, the Persian and Meowth are more suited towards, you know, built up areas urban areas mm -hmm. rather than out in the wild but then i don't know if you, i know there will be pokemon in the towns and cities but i don't know if they are cap catchable I, I don't know if that's been, yes they are they are that has oh, been okay. confirmed they are catchable in the city so those swablu you see are all catchable oh wow um that's yeah and, and that's that's the sort of thing it's like you know up till now we've had to have pokemon mm. either in the grass in caves or out in the water yeah. And now it's a case of, no, they can be in their home environment Makes where sense. they would exist and you can catch them there. I love that. Super excited for it. So in that case, I'm I'm sold on these two not being Persian and Meowth, but time will tell. Um, we will find out. And then <laughs> break, break down the other <laughs> controversial, I guess, uh, <laughs> image in question. So hilariously, this has come from Philly Beat Shoe, who yes. we... Praised massively last time yeah. for having such a really good breakdown of their gameplay experience. Uh, they posted an image of twi to Twitter from this trailer. Um, when you eat the sandwich, you see all your Pokemon behind you, unlike in Sword and Shield, where you just saw the one Pokemon. Which one do you prefer, by the way? Just as a little side tangent. Do you prefer all the Pokemon eating, or do you prefer just you and your um, I I would say I'd prefer all of them until you sent me that picture. And I've never been a fan of those type of images where they all are just floating at random different angles. Yeah. Doesn't work. I'd rather have the one Pokemon in, you know, the the I, it, the the cooking mechanic in Sword and Shield. I I rarely used it, but I do remember the first time and your Pokemon and you were just like, you know, it does that slow pan. And I can't remember if it pans out or pans in to your character and the Pokemon and the slowly just tasting it. And then, you know, the Pokemon's like, <gasps> and then all of a sudden it's just happy faces or whatever. Brings yeah. a bit of life to the Pokemon. This looks like it doesn't. It is just a bunch of, okay, let's just throw the Pokemon up on screen. I mean, they all do the happy face. I'm right. pretty sure from what I've seen, but yeah, it's it's busy. Yes, a bit messy. It's busy, it's cluttered, and yeah. it doesn't look messy. Messy is a good word for yeah. it. They are all just floating around. Yeah. Just not even yeah, I'm not I'm not convinced by no. it. But in mm. this one image, there is a Pokemon to the right of the character who people say looks like Palmy, but is far too big to be Palmy. So must therefore be an evolution that is slipped through. <sighs> What do you think? It's not. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not, not in sorry. a month it's of just, Sundays. The, the, so the my my initial thought when when me and Connor discussed this before jumping into recording was that okay, it's because it is the first time we've seen the model, whereas on the Pokemon website it is the illustration. That's not the case. We have in fact, Connor proved me wrong. We have in fact seen this Pokemon in game, and the in game picture just leads me to go 
it's it's the same Pokemon from a different angle. Yes, it is bigger, but we've seen in Legends Arceus that you can get Pokemon of varying sizes. And to be honest with you, the one that we've seen in the battle system, the screenshot that you've sent me, like, there's nothing really to compare its size to, which makes it no. qu- quite difficult to go, well, is it is it as small as it looks there? I, I don't know. I mean, I it's the same Pokemon. Like this is it's the same Pokemon. And the thing is, if we've got to a point where we expect a Pokemon to be evolved just because it's bigger, mm. come on, what, are, what what like Pokemon's better than that. Yes. Some some level of design difference is required. I'm sure someone will tell me that I'm wrong, but I can't think of a time where a Pokemon's evolution has been so small and unnoticeable. If this is its evolution, Game Freak are going down a completely different route with this Pokemon's evolution to the point where apparently it has minor changes that aren't even noticeable on the picture. Um, I I don't see, I don't see this is this is open and closed case. This is this is done and dusted. Like stop talking about it on Twitter and move on to something else. In my opinion, <laughs> right, we're done. We're done. <laughs> so but yeah. yes, uh, overall, I think the game looks great. I've been begging for ages. Again, although this showed nothing new, it showed gameplay, which is all I've been asking yes, for. Yes. And the gameplay looks good. It looks like a game that's coming out this month. Mm-hmm. Is it perfect? No, but it's Pokemon, guys. It was never going to look perfect. It, it, no, it's... I think, yeah... The, I the, still the, think the grass is the thing that puts me off the most. Yeah, I, I, I think the, there are certainly graphical elements in this that do make you go okay right that that could be better but like i've always said for me i'd rather have everything else in a game that works and the graphics you know falter a little bit because of it um but you can still enjoy the story overall than a game that looks beautiful but the story's rubbish it's the same repetitive gameplay um, so, you know, I can I can forgive them a little bit for the graphics, and I know other people won't, and there will be YouTube videos, and some that I remember when Sword and Shield came out and watching some of the videos of, you know, oh, high-quality animation in, you know, in uh, inverted quotes or whatever you call them, mm-hmm. because they were just terrible animations. Um, but it's been a long time since Sword and Shield. They've obviously had more time with the engine that they used to develop these games and the, the hardware of the Switch. Um... And they're doing something that's never been done before in terms of a true open world Pokemon game. So if the graphics, you know, fall down a little bit because of it, I can forgive them. Yeah. And it's not a bad looking game. No, agree. It's just, I, we can't argue that it's up to the standards that a game coming out in the 2020s should maybe be at. Agreed. Agreed. Um... I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait to play it. And uh, as of this, the, the day this is released, two weeks time. Um, two weeks time. Two weeks time. Insane. I've booked off the Friday. First thing in the morning, I'm getting up. I'm going to the shop. I'm buying it. Um, but that does mean I'm going to miss out on some of the pre-order bonuses. Oh my! Well, I was gonna, I was gonna do a slightly different transition there. I was gonna say, have you pre-ordered your copy? Oh no, I haven't. <laughs> have you? You we, haven't. No, have you? Because you were on about it last week, weren't you? You were, you were thinking have, of it. I, okay, I have, I, I have pre-ordered it now. Now I will stand by this point. I still don't think anybody else should. Yeah, but I have. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> that's, what's the what's do the as I say, in, not as I do. What's the leap right, in logic there? That's brilliant. <laughs> well, there was. Uh, so I went looking for the double pack. Oh, okay. Because I'm still, maybe it's copium, maybe it's false hope at this point, mm. but I still think there's going to be some level of difference. Oh, I hope you're right. Like, to, to the point where, you know, we've got different professors, yes. and we're still not entirely sure how much the professor is going to have to do with the story. I think they may have quite a bit to do with the story, considering that, you know, yes. Jacques seems to be taking on more of that actual professor role um mm. you know we've all heard the theories about the professors actually being the head of the evil team and all that kind yeah. of stuff like the actual evil team not team star mm-hmm. because we know team star aren't the actual evil team because yeah. they've been doing this for generations so i'm hoping there will be some story differences that yeah. that's purely my speculation i think that's going to be the case i've made a gamble and decided to buy both games for it okay because i'm really into the lore and mm. if there's different lore across the games then i want to find them um 
so I pre-ordered, and the reason yeah. I pre-ordered was because I went looking for the double pack, and it's just sold out everywhere. Is it? Yeah. Oh, so you're not getting... So you're, you're having to do two separate purchases? No, I, f- I found one copy of it. I had to go to John Lewis to get it. John Which Lewis of all is, places. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And for those of you who don't live in the UK, it's... I mean, re- uh, I don't how do you describe it? I don't know. It's like clothing, mostly, isn't <laughs> it's it? It's clothing and home, well, isn't it? It's clothing clothing home. and home. Yeah, that's that's about what they do. Do they do food as well? I don't think they do. That's M and S, isn't it? But yeah, yeah, it's just. But they do let. This is weird. Funnily enough, uh, they do Lego as well, which it's a really odd combination of different things that they do and. You know, when you when over in the UK, when you're thinking, okay, where can I get a game from? There's almost like a hierarchy of places where you're like, okay, I know, I know these stores will do it, and they are local-ish. John Lewis isn't even in the top ten for me. No, <laughs> it like, would literally. It was only because I googled, uh, and it was like, oh, John Lewis. I'm like, okay, everywhere else I clicked on, it said sold out. So let's give this a shot. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have even looked there. I wouldn't have even thought no. to look there. Agreed, agreed. Um, so, quick note go as well on. before we carry on, we're going to be mentioning a lot of brands, lots of shops, and stuff like that. Yeah, we don't support any of them particularly. No. Shop wherever you want, but we are going to be breaking down the pre-order bonuses. Yes, that you can get from the variety of places. Yes, none of these stores are endorsing what we say or paying for us. Yet, maybe in the future. <laughs> yeah, and we, we are not endorsing them. Shop, no. shop where you like at yeah. your own yeah, discretion. Exactly. All we're going to do is break down the pre-order bonuses, both digital and physical, across different regions, and we're going to turn it into a little uh, little game. We're going to call it Poker Hot or Poker Snot. So for every one of these pre-orders, I can't believe we all that. So every one of these pre-orders, we're going to break down whether or not we think it's good or bad. Connie? Can we agree there's no middle ground? It's one or the other. <laughs> no, it's it's uh, it's either it's, it's either hot or snot. Yeah. It's, it's either hot or snot. There is no in between. Uh okay. Right. Um we're probably both looking at the same um same website here with the complete yes. list and we'll just just go down it. Um I tell you what, if you want a full list, should we drop it in the description for people as well? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. yeah, yeah. So we're looking at game8.co. Really, yes. Uh, for the list here, and it's actually giving me a bit of information I didn't realize. Oh, really? Which is some of the stuff that I thought was a pre-order bonus is actually just an early order bonus. So uh, that flying okay. Pikachu, yeah, that the the one that's flying Terror type and has oh, the move fly, yes, is isn't a pre-order bonus. No, so that so if I'm reading this right, you as long as you re- buy the game and redeem it before the cutoff date, you get it, which is the February the twenty eighth. Yeah. So they thinking about this, they did something similar, didn't they, with was it the Meowth in Sword and Shield, the Gigantamax Meowth? Am I, I remembering think that right? So I think you got the Meowth that way, and then you got the Pikachu and Eevee, depending on whether that's you it. had Let's Go, right? Yes, that's right. Yes. So the the Pikachu and Eevee, you could like I got them a couple of years on when I've done challenge videos. Like you can get mm-hmm. them whenever you want, as long as you have the corresponding save data on your Switch. That Meowth, though, you you cannot get anymore. It is, it's is—it's a mystery gift, and it's time-locked, so if you try to get it after the cutoff date, you can't get it. So that's However, that gone. being said, I don't think there was anything particularly special about that Meowth, other than it was a Gigantamax one. Yeah. Pr- which, of course, yeah. you can now do you with Gigantamax do. Soup. So, which makes me think, this flying terror-type Pikachu, you will eventually... It's got the move Fly. It's got the move Fly, which is an event-only move. Oh, okay. Right. So this one might be l- missy and there is no way to kind of get... I- I've got a feeling you'll be able to get a flying terror type Pikachu later on in the game. At some point, you'll be able to, you know, because they've said every every Pokemon, you can get every terror typing. That's correct, right? Um, yeah. So you'll be able to get a flying terror type Pikachu at some point, but it won't no fly. It won't no fly. It won't be able to learn fly. That is a event only move that you can only get by... Early purchasing, not pre-ordering. Early purchasing. Okay, that makes sense. So this isn't a pre-order bonus, but should we give it the same rating? Uh, yeah, I think this is. I think this is Pokey Hot. I'd say Poker Hot. Mm, couple of reasons. One, a Pikachu that can learn fly. 
fantastic. Love that. And it's a call back to the old Pokemon Yellow. You got to love it. Yeah, the design is beautiful. Like, say what you want about the hats on some of the Terra typings. The flying one for me works, and it works really well. That's fair. Again, it is a callback to that Pokemon yeah. Yellow. So I give it a pass on this Pikachu. I don't think it looks great on everything. Agreed. Um, especially, I think we've seen like the Drift Blim with uh, the flying terror type. So you've just got a balloon with more balloons. And I'm like, that looks ridiculous. <laughs> you get a balloon. You get a balloon. Oh, yay. So many balloons. Uh, yeah, that, that would look a little bit. Mm, okay. I can understand that. Um, should we move on to the next one then, which is a adventure set for digital pre-orders? Wow, an adventure set? What does that include? So, the infuriating part is this is from the Nintendo eShop of all places, and you get... Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I'm going to actually give you the numbers of each of these items just to show you how bad I think it is. So you get 10 potions, 5 full heals... Three revives, three ethers, one rare candy, and one nugget. So let's before we discuss it, let's give it a rating because I think there's no surprise here. This is this is poker snot, right? This is snot all over this. This, this is garbage. What is what is this about? Like I don't. And there's a couple of pre-orders with the, the, where you get digital items, and I don't know who this is for. It doesn't. But it benefits you early game, very early game, but it doesn't it doesn't change anything. It doesn't give you an opportunity to experience something in a different way. It's just giving you a couple of items to the point where if I was a game company, I would be embarrassed to go, this is a reward for showing loyalty to our game. Yeah, and again, this is supposed to entice people yeah. to buy the game early. This is like, well, if you get in now, you get the special adventure set. And it's like, nobody cares. Nope. You've given me, what, maybe six, seven thousand Poké Dollars worth of stuff here? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. And like, that's what? Even even early game, you're talking about 10, 15 battles? Yeah, yeah. Not, not a lot at all. I mean, I would be... I, what I don't understand is that Actually, I'll, I'll save that because I don't want to. I don't want to jump ahead. Let's. I want to get all the digital items out of the way and then come up with a suggestion that I think would make you think, "Oh, this does actually. This is something that I would pre-order because these items will benefit me." So I don't want to jump a ahead. Cool idea. Um, should we move on from this one because it's so? Like, just just on. as a heads up on that one, that is a purchase deadline of February the twenty eighth. However, Ooh. you can redeem that all the way up till March seventh. That's if you buy that specifically through the eShop. Oh, very nice. So there's also an extra item for the double pack. Which, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Yeah. Th show my hand a little bit here. Okay, okay. So break this one down then. Why Why do you like this one then? I like this one because, A, I'm going to get it. But okay. B, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's for physical or digital owners of the game who doesn't have a redeeming date. Interesting. Oh, so um, get that whenever maybe. So I suppose this is actually just a if you buy the double pack at all. But again, as I said, the double pack is selling out quickly. Mm. So early purchases are the best way to go for it. Um, you get 200 Pokeballs. Mm. And I like this because, it you know, Pokeballs, although not the most expensive thing in the world, do cost. Yeah. And they do. And I mean, over the last couple of generations, to be fair, you have been given like, I think in Sun and Moon, you're given like 50 yeah. immediately. Um, but they're super useful. You know, yeah. they allow me to very quickly get into the game, especially a game that's about being big and open and explorable. Mm -hmm. It just gives me more time to be out there exploring, okay. catching Pokemon. Okay. And and I know that the other pack, the survival adventure set or whatever it was, theoretically does the same thing. It allows you to be in the wild for longer, but not really. No. Like 10 potions are not going to last you as long as 200 Pokeballs. Agreed. So... Is that 200 Pokeballs per game? Because it's double back. So you get 400, right? You think? I think it's a, you get a one code. Oh, you get so one you code choose. per double pack. Oh, okay. So you get to choose. Now, okay. You've kind of bought me around on this. Don't get me wrong. I think there are better items that could be used to incentivize people. However, um, if this was any game up until probably 
end of Gen 7, Legends Arceus, I really wouldn't care because typically in the early routes, then there aren't enough Pokemon to catch. However, if this is a true open world game, you are going to be burning through Pokeballs fast. Pokemon mm -hmm. trainers aren't mandatory, so there's no guarantee of, okay, if I'm heading through this wild area, I'm going to battle 10 trainers. That is going to give me X amount of Pokedolls that I can invest. Um, so you're not forced to do it. So the problem with all that is that you might find yourself coming across really good Pokemon and not having the resources to be able to catch them. So yeah. this, in this game actually works and one of the one of the issues i had at the very start of legends arceus was that i didn't really take advantage of the crafting system and i was constantly struggling for pokeballs and what i loved about that game was going out and catching pokemon so there's a bit of an issue there where i want to play the game my way but i haven't got the resources to be able to play it my way and now i need to start progressing the story and all this stuff so this actually this actually works for an open world Pokemon game, in my opinion. I'm not saying it's the best digital incentive that they can give you, but it it work. It does work. It's certainly not the worst. No. So let's give it a and, let, and God. I, it's a poker heart for me. Don't it's, double back. Buy the double pack. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love that. Now, um, because obviously there's the, this 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 sliding scale is limited to two choices, so I can't go in the middle. So I'm also going to say poker hot for this, which I cannot believe. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm two hundred pokeballs has won you over. That's all it takes. That's all. That's all it takes. Apparently. Well, that being said, compared to some of the other stuff on this list. Yes. It ain't bad. It's, no, it's it's absolutely not. Um, right, so the next one is an in-game backpack accessory. And this is if you purchase it from the um, Pokemon Center in the US, UK, and Canada. Um, what do you make of this? I mean, it's, it's not a good-looking backpack it, for a start. Yeah, there's nothing I really special about it. No. Um... It's it's such a hard one because to a certain level, I don't think you should. So let, let's put it this way. If this was mm -hmm. something that could actually affect game, like mm -hmm. especially if it was competitive. Yeah. If you were going to give me a Pokemon, say an event Pokemon um, that had a really good move and you could only get it if you ordered from the Pokemon Center. Yeah. I'd be up in arms. Agreed. I'd be furious because I don't think you should lock things like that a, a, a behind paywalls and things so sure make it in-game accessories make it in-game uh skins and stuff like that perfect mm. great mm. however seeing again looking at legends arceus and stuff like that there was a couple of pre-order stuff from there and i can't remember if the growlith outfit i had was a pre-order bonus or whether it was like oh no it can't be a pre-order bonus because i bought it oh i can't even remember now I can't remember, but there was a bunch of um, outfits and stuff you got in that, but they were full outfits. Okay. And I think it was up for owning previous games. I think it was for pre-orders and stuff like that. Yeah. You got full outfits. This is just an accessory. Yeah. It's it, not... It, uh, <laughs> so, it, it's... <laughs> there are better things. They, 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 like you said, outfits, things that make you stand out from the crowd. So I'm thinking about when you're taking those snapshots, how cool would it be if you have got an outfit that, you know, you could only get if you pre-ordered it? Like once, you know, you pre-order it, you get it. After, after the 18th or the 19th, you can't get this item anyway anymore. How cool is that going to look when, you do, when you're using the, the photo function? Mm-hmm. Backpack doesn't. And it is. It's just bragging, right? It, it is. That's all it is. The backpack doesn't do that. It doesn't make you go. If I saw somebody rocking that, I wouldn't. My immediate thought wouldn't be, "Oh wow, they got this day one. That looks absolutely amazing." My thought would be, "Oh, I wonder when I get that in game," because it just mm -hmm. looks like a regular backpack you would get at some point in game. I mean, if you're going to, what I don't get is like. Surely, if you're going to go with a backpack, if if that's if for whatever reason Game Freak and want this is what we want to give away, this is going to revolutionise pre-order bonuses. Like, 
at least bling it up with some Pokemon stuff, right? It's a Pokemon game. And w- yeah, I mean, we haven't had the clearest images of it either, which I don't think is helping. No. But it just does look to just have, like, flowers. Berry- yeah. Berries? Um, flowers? Yeah. Just a load of leaves and then those those purplish fruit or flowers. No, that's yeah, that, it's that's got it. like a hibiscus flower or something. Yeah, on it. the, the, this is it. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I, again, oh, there you go. It even, even says on the website, get a special in-game floral print sport backpack to go. start off your Pokemon Scarlet and Violet adventure. Okay, right, I'm pre-ordering. I'm sold. This is it. This You're is sold. The, this is the well, one. You, well, you better pre-order from the Pokemon Center directly. From the Pokemon Center. You, can we can we put the podcast on hold so I'm gonna do it? <laughs> I'm gonna do it right now. <laughs> now, <laughs> this is a, this is a Pokenot from me. Poker this snot, is a even snot. yeah, this, this, is snot. this is this is snotty all over. Yeah, it's absolutely. It, it doesn't even look great. Um, let's move on. So the the next one, um, I don't even know what this is. J- Japan exclusive digital pre order bonus campaign. Oh, okay, right. So this is where we get into the the good stuff, right? Not quite. Oh no, that's um, a little bit further on. So this is where we're on about you, physical pre order bonuses. Yeah, so this okay. is if well, no, this is in-game stuff. So anybody who orders in Japan, ah, uh, okay, um, oh, Japan exclusive digital pre-order bonus. Okay, so if you order it digitally, if you pre-order it digitally in Japan, you get a serial code, which gives you access to wallpapers. Raffles will be held with exclusive goods available as prizes. Okay, right. I'm honestly not sure what this is. Um, I'm gonna pull up the. So is this? So when they say and do a quick translate. So the question for me is, and I'm sure you're gonna answer this in a second. Wallpapers and raffles are they digital? Are you the sent to your email or are they in game? Like Pokemon Center wallpapers and raffles. I e oh you know every uh, every week someone gets a Master Ball sent to their mystery gift. I, I'm really curious as to what this is. Oh my god, their website looks amazing. I love it. Wow. Oh, so if I'm reading this correctly, yes. you get in-game wallpapers. So I think the wallpapers are the same as like um I have no idea. Maybe for your Pokedex and things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. But you also get to enter a raffle where a hundred people will win. I think that's what it's saying. Again, this is Google Translate of a Japanese website. Yeah. Um, from what I can see, you can get a bookend. With the three starters Which on it. Which does look good. It's kind of cute. Yeah, I like it. You can get a puzzle of the region map. Like, a, quite a big one by the looks of it. Mm. Quite a nice, well-detailed puzzle. Yeah. Um, they've got it up in a wall frame I here. do like that. That looks really nice. Compared to some of the other puzzles we'll see today, that one actually is gorgeous. Yeah. Um. Now, this I'm really interested in. Is this a vinyl? I think it's a vinyl. Because it's a vinyl player next to it. It's got that size. It doesn't look like regular CD. Wow. That now now we're getting into some good pre-order stuff. I mean Okay, you- hang on. The recorded songs are only the main theme of Pocket Monster Scarlet and Violet, and the okay. same songs are recorded for each. Okay, right. Well, yeah, but well, vinyls aren't you t- aren't like CDs, are they? They don't typically hold a lot of I mean, they hold an album. It would have been uh, cool to okay. get the whole original soundtrack. Yeah, that would have been that would have been nice. That would have been nice. Yeah, and the the art, the, the that those actual vinyls like displayed look really good. Oh yeah, they're stunning. I want them. Yes, me too. <laughs> they look fantastic. Okay, and then a, um, a little bit further down, I think we get into actual digital wallpapers for ah, your. So it's for PC and smartphone. Okay, okay. Which so you get a code that gives you access to them. Fine, I, cool. I, I guess. I mean, let's be honest with you. They are going to be up on torrent websites within a week of them going out. Which, if that. If that, um, which is unfortunate because some of those wallpapers do look really nice. And, um, you know, it, fine. Um, what are these little icons a bit further down? They look like stickers, but got a feeling. So, SNS icon? I'm not sure. This is where, like... Not living in Japan is a so, <laughs> is so it's us back a so it's bit. probably like profile images for smartphones or something like that that people can use or some kind of social yeah. media maybe whatever I think that is. So. Oh, okay. Next one though, Pokemon Scarlet the and the book. art book. Yeah, wow. So the art book is on here. Is this if you order through the Pokemon Center? 
is this included with all this? So I don't think I don't think so. I think these are all what you can win as part of the raffle. So you don't you're not even wow. guaranteed to get them. I think I think things like the wallpapers, everyone will get them. Yeah. Because so it says everyone gets the original download item, there you go. which is yeah. the wallpapers and yeah. stuff like that, the SNS icons, these little right. icons, which are cute. I will say these little icons are cute. I just yeah. don't know what they're for. No, they look um, good. and it has got the art book under the everyone gets, which is okay. That that sways me a little bit because I do love a good artwork book with a game i have a few from where i have i still have the devil may cry for one back from university because the artwork in that is gorgeous um i can't oh hang on this oh. might just be a link to a different page oh. ah no. no i don't think that's included i don't think that's included i think that's just a link at the bottom okay. of the page okay right so i'm ready to give my rating and it might be controversial on, it, it's a poker snot from me um is it because it's a raffle yes if this was it's because it's a raffle. Yes. If this was you buy this, it costs an extra ten, whatever it might be, you get the digital assets, I'm not that fussed about, but a lot of the physical stuff is is beautiful. It looks really nice. And for anyone that is a co- you know, a collector or loves Pokemon merchandise, it would look really good on your shelves. The fact that there's no guarantee you get them though. Is a little bit disappointing. So it's a it, and sliding scale. We have to pick one or the other. Poker snot from me. So 150 people get the record. 30 people get the puzzle, and 100 people get the bookend. So it's Th- those the puzzle aren't, is very pretty. Those aren't good odds though. It, like, is there a limited number you can buy? Because if like this is open to as many people as want that 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 buys it, and the raffle is just a slip of paper that you get in your console case and in your game case like the odds no, aren't so great from what from what i can gather it's a case of you order this because again this is very specifically through mm, i don't know it's just anybody who orders it digitally will receive a serial code okay um interesting i think it is a case of once you pre-order the game i don't know actually how this works digital copy right so a digital okay. copy you have to be doing it online okay. you have to be doing it through the east shop makes sense or you have to at least redeem the digital copy on your switch right so it's then linked to your account right you then come to this website log in with your that makes sense nintendo account and then you enter it that that way okay that makes sense what's your yeah. what's your rating for this then um i'm gonna have to give it a snot yeah i'm gonna have to say it's snot hot it's snot uh, <laughs> right and the reason is because it's made me realize that pokemon don't do collection collector's editions not proper collector's editions like they used to be all the right when i was at university every big game that came out was like you can buy a version with um artwork book you can buy a version with the soundtrack you can buy a version with a collectible figure i've still got my assassin's creed 2 Ezio mm-hmm. diatore forense whatever his name is on on the, the bookshelves behind me because i paid like 70 quid for that and yeah. it looks absolutely amazing. And yet, all the physical stuff you get with that, you, well, you don't get it. That's I think that's the, the reason we've given it the score that we've given it, is you don't get it. You get a chance to get it, which isn't great. Yeah, I mean, again, I would, I'd pay maybe not a whole lot more, but I'd pay a bit more to Agreed. get those records, at least. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, it definitely. If that was... The records, a figure... Yeah. Maybe the art book. The art book's the big one. Yes, I'd agree with you there because it that for me the art books are always great to look at because they are almost this is the vision we had for this, and then it's a case of okay, how is that then translated in game? Mm-hmm. I, and I I love those type of things. But this is a snot from us, so let's move on to uh, so steel books. Steel books that- I guess. This is a, this is a weird one to cover because some places do them, some places don't. Mm. I like we're not going to keep bringing up the steel books because it's as as long as stocks last. Yeah, basically. And the the but, recurring thing throughout a few of them on this list. So, um, steel books for me are things that I have had in the past, and I have paid mm-hmm. a little bit more to get the steel books. Um, I've sold every single steel book that I've had. Um, mainly because 
uh, went through a phase of just, I don't need all these games. I'm going to sell them, make a bit of money, and then I'll I'll reinvest that into new new video games. Um, it's a poker snot for me because I don't really care for them, but I can understand for some people that maybe do love having a collection of steel boot games. I'd imagine some people will be all over this. I like them as as a general rule. I like steel books. Mm. I think they look better. Um, the scarlet and the violet ones individually, I think, look stunning. Mm-hmm. You've got the you've got the clean front to them with just the legendary on it, and then the particular logo of the school for the game you're playing on mm-hmm. the back. I think it looks gorgeous. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. I think the double pack steel book. I've only just noticed that. Wow, it, it's. Do you like it? Forgive me for saying this, but it's piss stained. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is. No, you miss. You like miss. Trying to. <laughs> you miss. Really, it says it's, golden. It says golden. No, it's not though, is it? No, it's, it's not. not though. <laughs> it is. Oh lord! Now that you've said, it, I can't unsee it. And I was going to say how beautiful they look. <laughs> I'm not, and like as somebody who's ordered it. I'm not a fan of how... So and this is not going to look great on my shelf. So that's what you're getting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. The, the, the golden steel book. Okay. And like, you open it up and on the left, you've got the violet logo and on the right, you've got the scarlet logo. But both the games are underneath the scarlet logo. Why would you not have it? One on each side. It yeah, just... why? Yeah. Oh, that's These are that's very weird. small gripes to have. Okay. But... I, I am... I think you might be pleasantly surprised when you get it, though. It might be one of those colors that doesn't translate well to an, a, a digital image. I'm hoping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping for you. <laughs> so it'd be really interesting to... I mean, <laughs> the God. thing is, it's it might be really nicely engraved. It might be a lovely color in person, but from the images I'm seeing, I am not sold on it. So this is a 50-50 for me. Uh, if you're going to buy the individual games, it's a hot. If you're going to buy the double pack, it's currently a snot for No, me. you can't. You've got to group them together. Poker hot or poker I've got to group them together. together. We cannot okay, break the rules. Which, fine. In which case, overall, I think it's hot. Overall, I think it's hot. For no extra money to get what is effectively a collector's box is cool. I think that's a good offer. Okay. Fantastic. Right, let's move on to the next one, which is GameStop over the United States, uh, which is uh, an exclusive pin set for free. So you're not paying any extra money, you just get a pin set, which... Yes, so okay. we are officially over in the US now. That's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're over into the US. I'm just, yeah, I'm just following it down the list, which isn't isn't ordered in the best possible way. Is that what, no. you, is that so what you're US, looking at? Yeah. GameStop... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, okay. Sense. GameStop, you get a pin set, which is two pins of, well, Maridon and Karidon. Hmm. Um, um, sure. I'm not a pin collector. No. I don't think these are the nicest pins I've ever seen, despite, even, even yeah. despite that. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of white going on here. A bit too much, isn't there? There's a lot. And, like, and especially the ones I've seen, the nice enamel pins. You know, you should have like maybe white outlining if that's what you want to go for, or a yes. silver outlining. Yeah. In fact, these don't even necessarily look like enamel. Are they enamel? I don't think so. I, I, it's difficult to tell from here. I think the disappointing thing for me with these is that the the pins are just a three D version of the artwork that we've seen in other media leading up to this the game release. Surely, if you want these pins, you want a pose that you've never seen before. Yeah. Like something that makes you go, oh, that's really unique. Like there's some really pretty enamel pins on like the Pokemon store and stuff like that. Mm. I've seen them. I like them. My mate's got one with, um, it's got a Pikachu on it and it's it's a little round one Mm. and you can spin the outside of it so it like covers oh, up the top is and it? it's a surfing Pikachu. I've got that one. It's great. You've got that one. Got you it. spin it down the bottom yes. and it's a flying Pikachu. Yes. It came with um one of the Pokemon celebration trading card game uh boxes. Um, Very possibly. That makes sense. And yeah, I remember getting that and just looking at it going, I'm never going to wear this. I'm probably just going to put this somewhere and forget about it. 
But it looks good. It looks but amazing. But it's nice to have. Yes, exactly. And, and I'm and I'm the same. I've got a jolty on one. I bought a um. You know when I don't know if you you're not really into the cards, are you? I, I, or, I am. Ish. I am ish. Yes. Yes. They did the evolutions. Uh, they did boxes over here in the UK where you could get the V and the V Max of the evolutions, but ah. both of them were the alternate art. Ooh. They sold out everywhere so quickly. But one of the other little things you got in it was a little enamel pin. Ooh. And again, I'm not going to put it on my bags or anything. I'm not going to walk around with it, but I like it. And it's on my shelf and I keep it there and I like it. Right. This uh, doesn't seem to be up to that same quality. No. So I haven't seen it in person, but from what I'm looking at, that's uh, that's a snot. That's a snot. Um, yeah, it's a snot from me. It, it, I don't think the fact that it is an additional bonus that you get for, for free is enough to put it in the hot category for me. It, it's not like it, it's okay. You're getting a little bit of extra tat with your game. I, I, if this was me and I arrived there and they were like, Oh, here's your game. Thanks for pre-ordering. Oh, by the way, you get this pen. They're like, okay, right. Thanks. I guess. I don't know what I'm going to do. And this with is only this. if you buy the double pack. Oh, it's definitely, you definitely only- a snot then. <laughs> wow. You only get it with the double pack. So yeah. Well, they, they should be throwing it in for, th- for free then. If it's a double pack, you're already paying, what, 100 odd pound? Mm hmm. Wow. Okay. Uh, $100, $120. <laughs> yeah. Not great. No, no, not thank great. you. However, go better. on. <laughs> Even better. This is <laughs> great. This is I'll great. I'll throw it out there. It's better than the Amazon one for the US, where you get an in game code for a healing set. Okay. That healing set is just. Probably potions and stuff, right? It doesn't break down what it is unless you can see that. No, it doesn't say anywhere here. I'm gonna go see if I can find it We're somewhere else. Over to Amazon. Oh wait, here I've we go. The healing set. Oh, this is even better. This is even worse. <laughs> How? So- ten potions, ten antidotes, and three revives. <laughs> Get out of here. Just snot. <laughs> snot. Okay, let move on to the next one. Come on, Bezos. <laughs> You've got all the money in the world. You can give away something I decent. Know, right? Give away something good at the very, very least so um the next one the, the next one's the gamestop one that we've just covered right the pin set featuring the box legendary that's the pin set yeah so then the next one is from best buy um now this is your favorite one you keep is, bringing this, this up is, this is <laughs> in fact this is the single reason we're doing this today it is. you wanted to talk about this so what you get with this is a berry set so it includes um Cherry berry. I'm I'm struggling to see this because of the size of it on on my thing. So here we go. Cherry berry, Chesto berry, um, as aspear berry. Is that how it's pronounced? Um, I've always called it aspear, but I really probably should. <laughs> Pet- Petra berry, uh, Pearson berry, and Ross berry. So, is it one of each? I. So it doesn't say. I swear I've seen this somewhere where it gave the amount that you get, but. This one doesn't seem to tell you what you get. The fact that it says cherry berry and not cherry berries, or it says the number that you get like some of the other ones do, where like the potion says you get 10 potions on the like the artwork, for lack of a better word, it's not artwork, but that's 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 what it is. Um makes you think you get one of it, you get six berries in game. Like Woo. Yeah, great. Yeah. Um controversially though, this is a poker heart. <laughs> no, it's poker snot. Uh, after all that all the way. Um <laughs> all the way to the bank. Yeah, no, this is this is this is poker snot. For for a pre-order bonus, mm. for something that's supposed to entice me to buy the game early. No. No, de- no, 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 no. Definitely no. not. Right, let's move on to the United Kingdom pre-order bonuses. Um Yeah, which US got Nothing. The US got nothing there. All of them got snotted. Got all of them got snotted. And if you're America pre-ordering this, you've got shafted. I'm afraid. Ever so sorry. Um, when you get a chance, look at look at the link in the description. You will see how badly they have just bent you over. I guess you yeah. you're getting nothing extra really. Um, over in the United Kingdom, it's not much better, but it is better. So okay. If you don't mind, I'm going to go out of order with this one and okay. start with the game collection. Yes, I'd agree with you going that order. Go on. Why? Um, Tell people why. Pa- partially because I've never ever heard of the game collection, Neither which I. is uh, something I want to point out. But you get a double-sided poster and sticky notes. Right. 
Um, this is unique. I, I, like, I have never seen a game <laughs> pre-order come with sticky notes. <laughs> like, fair yeah, play. I mean, it'd be kind of cool if it's got, like, the little emblem of the school in the corner. Yeah. Oh, no, hang on. I've got an image. It's, it's, got, got, an image. it's got two logos and the three starters, and then the background of it is, like, scales, I guess. I, I don't know how. Yeah. It, yeah. It's it's the crystallized. It's, it's supposed ah, to be like the terrastal. That's what it is. Phenomenon, right. isn't it? Okay. Yep. Um, okay, fine. And then the poster is you've got the map or that t- picture of terrestrialized Eevee. Yeah. Okay. Fine. That's a good bit of artwork. Yeah. Um, depending on how they post this. Oh, I think yes. Makes a difference for me because there's nothing worse. Because did you ever used to play Grand Theft Auto back in the day? I did. Yes. Oh, and did the map. Did you ever used to really like the big map? That was folded down into the game case. Uh, uh, and it was just, you, you opened it up as like, oh, okay, right, well, that doesn't look great anymore, does it? Yeah. So, uh, depending on how they send this one, mm. this could be a hot for me. Okay. I'm not, I don't think the sticky notes are great. Yeah. They're fine. They're a nice little aside, but I like the poster. Okay. It, it's something. Okay. I'll take it. Okay, right. So, you, you, you can't be in between there. You've got, you've got to give it a rating. Yeah, so this is hot. Okay, right. This is a snot from me. I'm just like, whatever. I Because I'm not going to put up posters. And sticky notes are one of those things where I do use sticky notes, but these are the type of sticky notes I wouldn't want to use. I would want to just like have them there, but then what's the point in having them if I'm not going to use them? Does that make sense? Yeah, um, yeah the, the, you said like the art in the background doesn't look like it's going to... You gotta write on it and not be able to see it very well. Yeah, it's really weird. It's weird, which is a shame because I really do like that. I'm a big fan of of in design having you know what what's called like white space. Like that you you uh-huh. don't need to worry about having too much white on things. It sometimes looks really good. Um, and looking at this, I'm like, wow, it does look really nice. But I, in a practical point of view, I'm not going to use it. I think arguably they've tried too hard with it. What yeah. I'd have preferred, and what I thought it was going to be, is a sort of off-red and off-purple uh, set of sticky notes mm. with just a little school emblem in the corner. Yeah, that would. That would have looked really classy. You could yeah. have easily had it at work, and it would have been one of those things of, like, if you know, you know. Yeah. But if you don't, it it doesn't stand out. I like that. I like that. Whereas these just look kind of childish. Agreed. Which is fine. It's a kid's game. It's, I understand yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But kid, yeah. kids don't need sticky notes. <laughs> they don't want it. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. They don't. What are they going to do with them? I, do, I, I, I don't know. Um, right. Should we move on to the one from game, which I am excited about? Uh, right. So I, I, so I, I think, have thoughts go on, on this. I think I know where we, you're going to go. I think we have the same yes. thought on this as well. So you get a figure. Yeah. You get a figurine. You get a figurine of all three stars. Mm-hmm. That's very cool. It is. But however, <laughs> I have had these figurines in the past. I got mine for Brilliant Diamond. Ah, the Dialga. <laughs> yeah. And it was just, it wasn't painted very well. No. It was flimsy. Yep. It looked like a McDonald's toy. And I was really wound up about it. Yeah. So I've been really put off these. Now, again, the picture we have of this one looks really nice. It does. But so did the Dialga one. So did the Dialga one. Yes. And so when you mentioned about the Dialga toy and looking like a McDonald's toy, I've had Pokemon McDonald's toys that were better quality. Like a one ninety nine toy that you got in a Happy Meal was better quality than the toy you got with a AAA game for 40 odd pound. Like that, mm-hmm. that, that, that is worrying. So Funnily enough, if you were, I don't know if you've done this, if you right click on the image, you can open up in a new tab and you get a high quality photo of it. Um mm-hmm. it's again, it looks it looks good on, on that. But like you say, being burnt by this before, um, unfortunately. If I was over in the UK and there was one that I was going to get, it probably would be this one. However, it is an extra seven pound over most other places that I've seen. Is it? Yeah, most other places I've seen are about forty-two. So game collection, there you go, is forty-two ninety-five. A few other supermarkets I've seen um, starting to advertise it at around forty-two pound as well. 
Okay, interesting. So you are paying a little bit more yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. mm. This is a okay. this is a difficult one because it's almost like poker snot or poker hot. We we need it in our hands, yeah. right? But we can't do that because, <laughs> because there have been gorgeous ones. I don't know if you saw like the uh, pre order bonus. I'm and spoilers by the way. The Japanese get so much nicer oh, pre order bonuses do. than we do. Um, and they have done forever. Yeah. Uh, Legends Arceus, they got a gorgeous figurine. Mm. Um, yeah, and it was it was on the same kind of level as the ones we were talking about before, where you buy the collector's edition. Right. It was just a pre-order bonus. But they got a figurine of Arceus attacking. I'm going to see if I can send you Whoa, an image. Whoa, really? Just so you can... Okay. Um, oh, see, that is, that is what you want. You want something that just stands out. I remember the days when when they used to do these kind of limited edition or collector's editions, they were a limited quantity and they were advertised as a limited quantity, which would make you go, mm -hmm. okay, I need to get this before other people do. But like, I know that this has value because there's only one of 10,000 of these or one of, you know, 50,000, whatever that number was. There's no number to this. So you're getting something in a figure thinking, wow, this is amazing. I'm getting a figure. There's a million other people that also have this figure. And the more figures that are out there, chances are the lower quality they are as well because they need yeah. to mass produce even more of them to meet the demand. Um, that's that's why for me, coming into this, this is a poker knot. If I, if we're on that scale, if, if if we're on the thing of it's not actually worth anything because it is effectively Chinese um, mass produced. Yeah, crap. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's probably a poker snot. In fact, I've actually just gone and looked for the uh, Arceus one, which I remember looking a lot better than it does in that image. Um, I mean, it looks good, but yeah, it's I, yeah, it's not it's not the figurine quality it should be. Yes, agreed, agreed. Again, I just think they're making them out of the wrong materials. It shouldn't be plastic. Why is it plastic? No, it should be like from like metal or something like something that's solid and like. You know, only a hundred of these are made or something like that. And I know the price then would be astronomical, but at least you can But people get, are paying. People are paying. Exactly, exactly. Why why I, I don't understand why instead of going for okay, let's just do so many pre orders and they're all rubbish and they don't really make a difference, rather than going, Well, nobody gets pre order bonuses except for a hundred people who can pre order this amazing, beautiful you know, not one of a kind, but so limited and rare that it, it just pushes up the value of everything else around it. Um, so yeah, so poker's not from me. Uh, and the, the only other thing, which we've already discussed uh, over in the UK, is the steel book over at the Pokemon Center. Um, um, I have to give it a poker hot. I have okay, to. right, okay. I, I, I gave the poster a poker hot, so I have to give this one a poker hot. Okay, right, F fair enough. Um, I think if you're in the UK, this yes. is the one to go for. More than likely, yes. The, the So I was going to go for it, even though every, after everything I've said, I know. But the reason I'm not is because I want this on day one. The problem with game is that if I order it for delivery, there's no guarantee I get it first thing in the morning to be able to maximize the amount of playtime I have on that day because I have got content plans for it which means that I'm going to miss out on this and probably just go with supermarket like Sainsbury's or Morrison's and or Argos maybe and just get it for you know 43 pound done and dusted back home I can play it. Yeah, that's fair. I I suppose uh, yeah, it's it's far too late now, but I think we should have probably set the scale up of like is hot you're going to pre-order it because uh, okay. of this or is it think, just a good pre-order bonus? I think poke yeah, true. Um I think I've been looking at it as is it a good pre-order bonus? Not Am I going to get it? But I guess by definition, if it's a good pre-order bonus, then the chances are you're more likely to buy it. Yeah. So I yeah, I, I I think this one's hot. I okay. Do. Fair enough. It, it might not be, but it looks. Yes, good. I can understand that. Um, unlike Canada, unlike Canada, who <laughs> uh, we will fly through. It's not hot because it's that time of year. No. So um, you, can, you get the two. You can get one of two codes. So take your pick: healing set or berry set, which we've already discussed. Um, yep. Amazon or Best Buy. Poker, They're both garbage. Double poker sorry, snot. Canada. Sorry, Canada. I don't know. <laughs> like, literally, so Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has just ruined North America. It's I. 
Yeah, don't you know, know what's happened. Yeah, there. I know, right? Like, I honestly thought, looking at this, America was going to have the worst pre-order bonuses, but now Canada, Canada is actually trumped them. Well, well done, I guess. <laughs> like, good for you. And then maybe even trumping them is Australia. Oh, where other than the steel book, which by the looks of it is most of them are only given the steel book with the double pack. That is weird. Okay. The gamesman is the only one that's giving. Or the gamesman and JB Hi-Fi are the only ones that are given the steel book for both the games, mm-hmm. uh, whether you get Scarlet Violet or the double pack. And JB Hi-Fi is giving you the healing set. Yay. That's it. That's that's what you get. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for living in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> they they are so um I. Um, it's it's a poker snot for me because I've already gone over the steel book and the the healing set and given them both poker snots. I don't think the steel book and the code for the healing set two poker Is snots enough. do not make a poker heart. I'm afraid, like it's still poker snot. It's a better value poker snot, but it's still a poker snot. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> okay. uh, rough, absolutely rough. rough. So Singapore pre-order finally something decent bonuses so there's there's two here that you um get the steel books um we've already discussed them however the one that does stand out is if you get the double pack is it or sing? oh no if you get the single this game either. or the double pack wow you can get uh one one a5 art book if you get the single game or two a5 art books if you get the double pack um so this is if you order directly from the pokemon center in singapore yes if you order violet you'll obviously get the violet art book if you order scarlet you'll get the scarlet art book yeah if you get the double pack you get both and that's really cool it is so have you seen the images on the website of the art books so these i haven't there's not from what i've seen there's not a lot revealed so no so the art book on the japanese um one that we reviewed earlier had blank pages Whereas mm-hmm. this one has really low quality PNG that just says sample plastered Ooh. across it. So I don't think they're the the final images. I think they're just like, place hold it, let's throw this image onto the website so people can have a idea of what you might be getting from it. However, the artwork on the left, which probably isn't the final version, but if it is probably based on something that you're gonna get, looks really nice actually. I know it's like a really low PNG image, but looks really nice. Um, and we also actually get a better look at the uh, the steel golden steel book, the special golden steel book as well. Uh, have, you seen, yeah. have you seen that? Um, I, I'm. It makes it look like Maridon is bubbling pee, <laughs> bubbling pee this time. Um, this is a poker hot from me because of the the art books. It's a one hundred percent poker hot. Yeah, uh, the art books are they're a bit of history. Yeah, honestly, oh, yes, I that's think a great these way. are fantastic. Um, I've seen some of the translations and stuff from the art books for Legends Arceus gave away so much detail. Mm. You find out like, um, oh, names. Why is it always names? Who's the train guy? Oh, um, uh, ba, 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 his name is, I can't remember nope. now. Anyway. It's gone. <laughs> um, somebody in the comments is going, it's him. It's How him. did you not know? It's well, him. we find out he's bald. That's the only way we find out yeah. he's bald yeah. is through the <laughs> That was great, that was. <laughs> I just, I, I like the art books a lot. I think they're really good. Y- I think yeah. something that would make, I would go out my way to pre-order this to get the art book. There you go. Okay, right. So you would do that. Okay. I can I can completely get on Ingo. board with that. Ingo, that's his name. That's his name. Um, right, Okay. So onto the Europe pre-order bonuses. Um, so apparently, if you pre-order in Italy or the Netherlands, you get a Souf Bal and ten Luxury Balls. What do you um, think about that? Um, no. <laughs> why? Why a Souf Bell? So what an odd specific item to give you. I that to me that might be that might persuade somebody if the if they. If you knew that, okay, these are the Pokemon that have been revealed for Scarlet and Violet, the new Pokemon, and I know that that new Pokemon needs high friendship. And you you look at that Pokemon, you go, wow, that is that is an amazing Pokemon. I really want that evolved form. You know, when you just see a Pokemon think, I need that on my team. I 100% know that I am having that on my team. That might persuade somebody 
I guess. So just give it a shower. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, you can just you just use the in- in-game picnic mechanic. And sooth bars aren't exactly rare, are they? You typically get them, you know, early to mid-game anyway, especially in the later generations. Um, is this a poker hot or a poker snot? I think this is a snot for me. The thing is, I think if you're going to give in-game bonuses, yeah. there needs to be a lot or it needs to be significant. Like, I'm not asking for five Master Balls, but if if you turn around and was like, here's 50 Ultra Balls, yeah. or even here's 10 Ultra Balls, 10 Dusk Balls, yeah, yeah. Uh, 10 Love Balls, whatever. All right, you, I'm kind of won over a little mm-hmm. bit here. It's mm-hmm. cool as a bonus. Yeah. Whereas this is just, in fact, they're probably just going to sit in my bag. Yeah, never to be used again. Yeah, Ag- agreed. Poker Snot for both of these? For me? Yeah, this is a poker snot. So GameStop Italy, we're very sorry. Poker snot. Uh, Media Market Netherlands, you get the healing set if it's a single game. You get the Luxury Ball and Soothe Bell if it's the double pack. That's Yay. even snottier. Yeah, snottiest of snottiest. But we are into the probably the part we're most excited about, which is fu- infuriating because we have... <laughs> because of how long we've been recording for, but I really want to go over the Japanese pre-order bonuses because they They're good. They are they are better <laughs> than good. They are great. Like we've just spent probably an hour just absolutely hammering home how disappointed we are with every region other than Japan. And Japan have even one of their pre-order bonuses probably beats all of the others combined, in my opinion. Well, let's put it this way. Yeah. No matter where you order from in Japan, yeah. if you order a physical copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you get a promo Pikachu card, which has Sprigatito, oh, Quake yes. Coco, and Quaxley on it. It's- this is the very first Scarlet and Violet TCG card that is being released, and you get it as a pre-order bonus yeah. no matter where you pre-order from. That's amazing. Yeah. The artwork is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. It looks amazing. Um, and I am absolutely gutted that we're not getting anything like that anywhere else in the world, it seems. No. Disappointing. It's it's a big sad. And no doubt we will get this in an English set yeah. somewhere later down the line. They they always do this. It will be a promo for something. But I, I, want it, I want it with the game. Yeah, agreed. That little, like you said, a little bit of history. Like you get it, yeah. you get it out, you display it, and no matter what happens with that game, and if you never play it again after a couple of years, you've still got that card on the on the side. It's like, oh, wow, look at that. I remember when I bought that, and I was really happy with the card. Um, okay, so it, let's let's go down the list. It, unfortunately, the, the, yep. the, the card on its own, for me, would make it a poker hot if it was just the game and the card. But that's not the case. There are other things on offer. So, so what you're saying is, if you pre-order in Japan, it's a poker hot. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, yeah, yeah. Um, but I do want to. But we're ne- we're we're n- we're now going to be comparing the bonuses on top of yes, that. So let's everything do it. you get is good. Yes. But taking that out of the equation, yes. all the rest of it. Let's have a look. Okay. So up first from Animate is a microfiber mini towel. Um. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm never going to use this, but it looks good, right? How do you mean you're never going to use like, this? You're going to use it on your Switch if you ever play okay, it portably. Okay, yes, no, good you point. You wear yes, glasses, yes, okay, good so point. having one on hand good is point. super handy. And you even have the same lens reflecting yes. nonsense that I have on there that smudges your glasses up constantly. They, they do, yeah. So having okay. what, a microfiber cloth on hand is actually super handy. But then you're going to ruin it. Like, Are you going to use it, though, or will you just display it? No, I would use would this. Would you use it? Right. Here, here's the thing. Okay. I would use this. I would never display this. I don't think it looks good enough to display. Okay, I get because that. Because it's that. the same stock artwork that we've seen yes, everywhere. Yes, okay, good point. So, just the... It, and for it, that reason, <laughs> it's a snot for it's me. It's a snot, okay. Yeah, it's a snot for me. I, I mean, to be fair, it's still better than all the other bonuses elsewhere in the world. But yeah, it's on its own. It's a snot. I don't really care for it. I wouldn't really use it. I I know I know I have glasses and stuff like that. But typically, if I'm lazy, if I'm wearing you know if I'm wearing a shirt, so I've got my dressing gown on, I'll just use that to clean it. Like so, <sighs> I know I know. Don't crucify me. That's what I do. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Let's move on. Let's not address that. I don't want to address that. So, <laughs> Amazon <laughs> over in Japan, you get the in-game backpack. 
plus a cutlery set. So this is so <laughs> weird. What the heck? You get you get a spoon and a fork, <laughs> which have the school emblems emblazoned on like oh, the end this of the is handle. Great. And if this was like silver, <laughs> instantly hot. But it looks plastic. It looks terrible. <laughs> it looks plastic. <laughs> it's probably gonna be plastic. <laughs> and so, no. so, so for me, the question is, the backpack on its own was a poke snot. Do the fork and the, <laughs> do the, fork and the spoon elevate this enough <laughs> to take it into the do poke you know Do you know what's really annoying? If it had been chopsticks, I'd have said hot. Yeah, I can, there is something about chopsticks, isn't there? Collecting them will be like, oh, they look cool. I can't use them very well, but they look cool. You can't help but play with them when you get them. Like, if these, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, cutlery, <laughs> you can collect cutlery. People do yeah, collect they do, cutlery. They do, yeah. But it needs to be silverware. Mm. And it's not going to be. So, yeah. no. Oh, it's not. So, so, hold on. I, have to, I, I need to clarify this. Is the, is the spoon and. They, they're not digital assets. They're physical things, no, right? No, they're physical things that you get. Why do they look so rubbish then? <laughs> like, they look, they look like in game. Oh, okay, right. It's a snot from me anyway. I'm not. I'm nothing's gonna change my mind. It's it's not for me. I'm uh, other people listening might go. That is that is the one for me. Like I I collect them. I want to display them. I want to use them. Whatever. But for me, it's a hey, poker snot. I'm afraid. Um, should we move on to the next one? Which I I'm probably gonna butcher the pronunciation of this. I, I, Ami, right, Ami? So I think this is a direct translation and is not actually what it is. Okay. I think this is just a picture. I think this is just like a poster. It looks like it, doesn't it? But like in terms of the nice one. It's a nice one. And it looks like these have been custom drawn for this. I've not seen that artwork anywhere else. Yeah. Um and that's a big win for me. If yes. it's not stock artwork, that's a big win. Agreed. And that's kind of why the uh poster from the UK one kind of won me over because it wasn't the stock artwork. Yeah, it was I can understand that. that really nice one from the website. Yeah. And what so go on. Yeah, poker, go on. Poker, well, I'm going to say Poker Heart as well, mainly because um, as someone that uses Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop for a lot of my artwork when I'm doing um, things like thumbnails and, and the background and whatnot for um, uh, YouTube content and Twitch content, these would fit right in place. Like, they would fit so well with my kind of the way I design things. So it's, it's a mm -hmm. Poker Heart for me. I love them. They look great. Yeah, if this is actually just like one big poster, it's it's definitely a hot from me. I will we will say it it, it <laughs> says on the website we're looking at it's two L bromide. What, whatever that means. No I idea what that no is. No idea what that means. But okay. Um, <laughs> if it's a poster, it's a hot from yes, me. Yes, agreed. This this could be for all we know, two L bromide means toilet paper or something, and we've just given <laughs> it a heart. But anyway, um, let's move on to the next one, which is Aeon style. Uh, Eon yeah. style? Eon style? Aeon style? Something like that. Um, stainless thermo tumbler with lid. That's kind of cool. It is kind of so cool. So you get a thermos flask. Keeps your drinks hot. Yeah. Keeps your drinks yeah. cold. Um, you get one with Coridon yeah. and the school emblem. Mm -hmm. Or you get one with Miraidon with the school emblem. Mm -hmm. As somebody that... These are great. Th these are great. As someone that when I'm doing content, sometimes I do like a good brew. Um, yeah, these would be great for that, I think. You know, keep it warm throughout a, a long session, a long recording. And they're not massive either, no. like you usually see thermos flasks. Yes. Um, I like them. Yeah. I like them a lot. Poker hot? Uh, I can't see the top of them. I don't know how easy they'd be to drink from. But let's face it, as a pre-order bonus, yeah. No, this is this is 100% poker hot. Fantastic. Gamers. So this is a multi-cloth with Pikachu and the starters. So th this is yeah. So this is another this is another lens wiper. It looks however better. yes. Go on. It's 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 not stock art. No, exactly. It looks I, I the way Fue Coco is just looking and he looks so happy and the artwork and and Quaxley's like doing an airplane. It, they look amazing. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this. This is something different. Yeah. Again, you could pull this out and I'd be quite happy to have this on hand. Okay. Again, we're not rating these on. Would I go out specifically to pre-order the game for this? Mm. It's just given that, yeah, this is hot for me. Agreed. Yeah. Um, 
and compared to the other yes. one, this is the one I would get. Yes, agreed. Uh, onto Seven Net, which is a variety ball set. So in-game items. Now this is what we were saying just about the, why the luxury balls. Why not give us a mix of things? And this does give us a mix of different pokeballs. So I can see, I think, level ball, quick ball, dust ball, net ball. Dive ball, I the think. Dive, dive ball, uh, luxury ball. Friendship ball or friend love ball. ball and well, timer ball. Oh, friend ball, yeah. Maybe that one. Um, so, um, so you get a collection of Pokeballs and in-game item pouch, it says. So is that what that is, is in the box? Is it an in-game pouch? It looks like I am. Mm, well, does in-game no, item... No, 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 no. The variety ball set is the in-game item. In item, item. So you, and then you also get a pouch, which is like a little pencil case. Which again has, looks like, Custom artwork on it. Yeah, and you get a different one depending on whether you get Scarlet or whether you get Violet. Poker Hot for me, this is this is it's, it's different enough from the Pokeballs that we mentioned earlier, and you get something additional. Yeah, you get something on top of it. I think if it was just the Pokeballs, it might be a snot. I don't because it doesn't say how many you get. I think if you just get one of each of these, mm -hmm. that's not great. But the pouches are fantastic. They're they so look good looking. And like as something to just hold my pens in or mm. Yeah, really happy with that. That's a that's a poker hot. Fantastic. Rakuten Books, if I've pronounced that right. Um, you get a knapsack and acrylic keychain. Um, again, unique artwork on them. Yeah. Like quite and a, different depending on which game you get. Yeah. So the violet one, all the starters are asleep on the keychain and they look adorable. Like absolutely adorable. Um <laughs> I, I, would I buy this? Probably not. However, it's still a poker hot. Um, if yes, it's a poker hot for me. I like the knapsack. Yes, the keychains do nothing for me. Okay, but the knapsack is really smart. I could, I, I would take this to the gym. I don't even care. Yeah, yeah, no, I can understand that. Putting your headphones in or something like that. Um, yeah, uh, I suppose actually we don't know how big it is. I, I, I assumed think, it was. Oh, do, do you remember those yes. old Adidas bags yes. that you used to take to school and stuff like that? Oh, it could be. I there, so yes, I completely get your point. That isn't where I was going mainly because it's obviously the same size as the keychain, but that might be just for the artwork. I can understand. I think it's just for the artwork. Ah, okay, and that oh, in that case, yeah, you could water bottle hoodie. Oh no, yeah, you, you, yeah, I I actually would have that. Yeah, knapsacks like a full bag. Yeah, I like that. So, yeah, and we used to put our school books in this. Yes. And Lug it around. I think we were really cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, 100% poker hot. Fantastic. Really happy with that one. Um, so on to Loppy, I think. Loppy. Uh, Loppy. Uh, rubber keychain acrylic calendar. So you get the rubber keychain if you... Mm, right. I think this is saying that you get the rubber keychain if you buy Scarlet or Violet, ah. and then you get the calendar if you buy the double pack. Okay, so <sighs> individually, let do them individually then, okay. I think is the best way to do it. For me, the calendar is a poker snot. I really don't care about those kind of mini desk calendars. So like, you have a calendar on everything nowadays, your, your phone, your desktop, your fridge, if you've got a smart fridge, like it doesn't do anything for me. I'm never going to use it. It looks nice, but I'm never going to use it. Is it just a calendar for November as well? <laughs> Could you imagine that? <laughs> no, it's not even. When? What, is, what month is this <laughs> calendar for? Say. It doesn't say. We can work it out. Right. Wednesday is the first. And there's 31 days in the month. We're not actually going to work right. that out. <laughs> oh, we? <laughs> I, no, well, I was going to have a quick look. Um, <laughs> oh. I have no idea. No, it's, neither do I. It's for next March. For next March? When you actually <laughs> went it out. I went and looked. Brilliant. This calendar works for next March. Fantastic. Um, okay. I don't know. Maybe it flips. You'd think I, so. Maybe it flips you'd through. Think it you'd gives, hope so. Yeah, you would, but you'd think it'd give you 12 months. I know that like Game Freak are known for, you know, trying to save money here and there, but I can't imagine they would be that bad where they're like, oh yeah, uh, you get a calendar, but you only get one of the... It's it's useful for one month out of 12. <laughs> like, I can't <laughs> see that happening. So the calendar's a poker snot from me. What about you? Uh, nice artwork on it. Mm. I'm not a fan of the artwork, weirdly no, enough. No, I, I think yeah. it's got weird, like, 
crystals in the background and half of it's colored yeah. and half of it but isn't. they don't even line up the the part that colored and the part oh that isn't God, doesn't they even don't. align <laughs> so it's, it doesn't work it's like they've got two images that smush them together and not even trying to match them up oh well that that single-handedly has yeah. made it a focus not for okay. me okay <laughs> what about the key chains because the, the, the previous key chains you didn't like what about these ones i'm not big on key chains okay. i just don't think they're like unless they're like mini figures or something. Uh, like yeah. if you've seen like the Lego keychains. Oh, they're, they're, yes, they're amazing. I think yes. they're really smart, yes. but that's kind of where I draw the limit. Okay. I can understand that. Um, so these don't do anything for me. Okay, the keychains for me are a poker heart. Um, okay, I I like these style ones I, where they're all like flexible and everything, and they uh, yeah I, I I like them. And again, like that Quaxley doing the airplane, like it's doing a lot for me. I do like that. That's fair. I will say, like, the art on pretty much most of this stuff is really good. Mm, All the mm. um, new artwork's really nice. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of keychains, so it's a snot for me, but a hot from you. Yeah, agreed. Uh, Wonder Goo, you get... Just, the description is just mug. <laughs> it's just... You get a mug. <laughs> you get a mug. And the, the, I'm looking at the artwork here. I don't even think this is the final artwork. This looks like when I, when I design something, I send it off to the printers... This almost looks like what that is, where it's like, okay, I've kind of slept on the images. You now need to provide me a 3D mock-up of it, and th this isn't a 3D mock-up. Like, it's not a proper... This is, it, this is an image of the final mug, if that makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense. Um, if you order the Scarlet one, you get a mug with the three stars yep. on it, and if you order Violet, you get Pikachu. Yep. Thoughts on this one? <sighs> it, it, I've kind of, like put myself into a corner here because we we both said in previous ones that it's got unique artwork that we haven't seen before so it's a hot and this also has unique art artwork i've never seen the quaxley do this however it's a poker snot for me because i'm like it just looks really poor and that might be that might be unfortunate because obviously it's, they're not showing the final version which could be a poker hot but i have to go on what information i have in front of me it's a snot yeah so it is just outline artwork mm -hmm. um it doesn't look to fill the mug very well um it's a snot for me but it might be for a very different reason okay i'm very particular with my mugs i like okay. them to be a certain shape yes and this is not the right shape so it's I, a snot i get me. that and this looks like there's you know some mugs are just more likely to kind of bombard your mouth like you you, you tip it uh -huh. back you tip it back you tip it back where's the brew where is it and then all of a sudden you've tipped it just that little bit too much and yeah. It's down you. This looks like the type of mug that would do that. It's 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 too much of a bowl. Yes. Agreed. Yes. Yes. Um the next store, I can't read Japanese, so I can't tell you what it is. I don't know if you can. Uh not anymore. No. Um oh no, uh Ayek dot omni seven. I don't know if that means anything to anyone. Anyway, uh they are giving away a set of two glasses with the double pack. This might be the single greatest wow, okay. bonus okay. I have ever seen. Like for Go on. this, for this, okay, for okay, this. Okay, okay, right, okay. Right. Um, How cool? Go on. These are gorgeous. Yeah. These are gorgeous. These are really nice looking glasses. Unlike the mugs, this does look like something I would actually have. Um, okay. Like you could easily display these or use them. Up to you. Yeah. Y yes, it does have the standard artwork. I get it. Mm. But. I think these are really nice. Okay. So it's and you and you can get both of them with the double pack. Okay. So it's a poker hot from you then? It is. There is one caveat to it. Okay. I'm not a big fan of all the disclaimers at the bottom. and the copyright stuff at the bottom of it. Okay. That's a bit of a shame. Okay. But overall, yes, I okay. really like these. So I'm going for a poker snot on this. Oh. Um, Mainly because I, while I do take your points about you could display them or use them, and as a whiskey and bourbon drinker, they look like the right style of tumbler, I will admit. Mm -hmm. um, I have I have, and probably will see better knockoffs on Etsy and eBay. Like If you are going to do this, do something unique, different. Um, it doesn't, like I said, it, it's just got... Kind of ruined at the bottom with the with the extra you know legal information, the Maridon and Caridon are, are images that we've seen before. Um, I it doesn't do anything for me, so this is a poker snot, I'm afraid. 
Okay. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. That's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, you will buy I, this. Because I was about to turn around, I was about to turn around and be like, but it's free. <laughs> it you free. get it for free. <laughs> um, but that's that's a stupid argument. So <laughs> Because we haven't included that argument for anything no. else here. No. So the next one is uh, or pay? AU pay? I, I'm not 100% sure at this point. Uh, coasters. Um, yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. I do enjoy a good coaster. I'm not going to lie. As someone that has a nice desk, I don't want to stain it. Um, and bedside cabinets next to my bed, I don't want to stain them. So coasters are something that I, that I have around. I don't think I want coasters with my game, though. <laughs> it, it's one of those weird ones. I'm... It's 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 odd for me because you get again. This is one of those where you get a different one for Scarlet and then you do for Violet. The Scarlet one looks really nice. It's like square. Yeah, it's got like a wood effect to it. I really like the artwork yes, on agreed. it. Really like the artwork, but the Violet one is like rounded. It's got that crystally background stuff, and then it's just silhouettes the same artwork. Yeah, it's like why would you have that really nice artwork and silhouette it out so you can't see it? Um. This is a hard one for me. I can't split these. Oh, okay. So right. Overall, overall, I think I'm going to say hot. Okay, right. I'm going to get it. I'm going to say snot. Un- unfortunately, I, I, yeah, they, they're, they're not doing anything for me. I'm afraid. I just really like that artwork. I think it looks really nice. Right. Okay. And again, I, I it, it's, you were the one who brought up putting it on your desk. That's yeah, true. That's something I could happily do. Okay. Right. Um, Edion, I think, <laughs> is the Ed- next one. Edion, sure. Edion? Uh, a random fiction stamp of Pikachu or the starters. Or if you buy the double pack, you get three fic- friction stamps, not fiction stamps. Oh, oh no, I like these. <laughs> I like these a lot. I don't know if it's the colors, the, the quirkiness and uniqueness of them. I These are a poke of heart for me. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, uh, wow. Like, honestly, I'm the kind of guy that if something is colorful, I want it. To, like, it's just one of those. So, things. for those of you only listening at home, these are effectively like highlighter <laughs> color stamps of the f- Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxley's face yeah. and Pikachu's butt. <laughs> 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 That's brilliant. Like, okay, it, it's a snot for me. Okay. I'm never, ever going to use these. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> would you, I can get you'd, I'd use them for novelty just to start with, and then I'd be like, now nah, I want to save these. But <laughs> I'm not good. Like, of all the things we have here, this cannot be the one you want. <laughs> it is right now. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I really want them. <laughs> Dude, they're just colorful. <laughs> they're quirky. Like, they're, they're, I, I want them. I'm buying them. I'm getting them. I don't care. I will go on eBay right now. <laughs> Wow. Okay. That's, uh... <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Let's try and bring some sanity back to this and move on to the next one, which is Geo. Um compressed towel. Uh so this is not something we really have over here. No, we don't. Like, have you ever used a compressed towel? No, and is it is a fear of sounding daft. What is it? Is it just a towel that's scrunched down or something and then it expands when you need it? Yes, although at least from my knowledge, they only expand once. What? Like, I again, my, my very limited knowledge, I might be the one sounding dumb here, but I think I've seen these before and they come in like what is effectively a small little brick and the brick has like a Pokeball or a Master Ball on it. Okay. And then you get it wet and then it expands out. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just a full sight out. What are these? What? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, right. Um, I, the annoying thing is, I've just. And they're disposable. Of, and they're, dis- right. they're one use. Okay. Oh my. Well, that, that's a poker snot for me then, straight there. It's. it's yeah, it's. It, it's something that either you are going to display and therefore never get the full value of it. Or you're going to use it and then throw it away, in which case it's a waste. Um, I, I, I don't know what audience this is for. It's, it's baffling me to be quite honest with you. So it's a poker snot from me. Yeah, it's um, it's a poker snot from me. Okay, mostly because it's confused me more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> it really, yes. I'd love to see at some point someone will have one of these on. They'll have recorded it for YouTube. And I want to see this in action. I it's it's still a snot by. I'm very curious as to what this is. 
Um, yeah. So the next w- website um, is Joshin, I think, um, which you can a five jigsaw puzzle for. Um, this is garbage. This is this <laughs> isn't even a good jigsaw puzzle. No, it's not. A f- it is a standard cut. I think it actually looks like you could easily misplace the pieces. That's how bad this cut looks. Not that I'm yeah. a big puzzler personally, yeah. but I, I know enough about puzzles to know that this ain't it, son. Okay. So, poker snot from you? Poker snot. Okay. Um, so, is there something I do need to point out is this scale artwork keeps cropping up in the Japanese pre-order bonuses. Not, I don't think it was in any of the other ones, was it? It's something that seems it's all, to be... It's on the inside of the steel books. Ah, is it right? Okay, so we have seen it in other places. Now, as someone who regularly does jigsaw puzzles with my daughter, including Pokemon ones, this would be something quite... I'm thinking of a child here, quite... Oh, okay, this is something cool. You know, they've been on the game all day. It's 40 pieces. You need to get them away. I'm thinking really young kids, like... It's Quite 40 you. pieces. Right. <laughs> You're not doing the jigsaw. My daughter is. <laughs> I so. know. But my, like, even my little sister used to do jigsaw puzzles. They were big. Like five, yes. There were 500 yes. pieces. Uh, yeah. The, the, yeah. I, I, I'm talking really young here. Um, I'm, I'm trying to persuade myself to give it a poker hot. And I just don't think I can. Um, for me, it's a poker snot. If, if I was a child, maybe. But there are probably other pre-order bonuses I would want. And... As a parent, if I was pre-ordering this, I would probably pre-order something that I know I get the additional item that I'm going to use rather than my child getting a jigsaw puzzle, which, let's be honest with you, is probably really rubbish quality, falls apart, loses pieces, and then it's it's useless. Um, Yeah, poker snot in the end. That was a tough one for me. Sorry, Joshin. Sorry, Joshin. Um, Sutaya? Sutaya. Sutaya. Um, so if you get the single game only, you get a bookmark clip or a set of bookmark clips. This looks like you get five. You get a large one, which is the uh, the mascot, and then you get uh, smaller versions that are have the three starters or Pikachu, and they're all slightly color coded, for lack of a better word. So for Coco's is red, Pikachu's is yellow, and, and so forth, and 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 so on. Um. This is really bizarre because you're buying a video game to get something that benefits a different form of media. But- Says the one who is just trying to justify a jigsaw. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> true, <laughs> true. Um, um, I can see what you're saying. I thought it's a, it's a look. I buy this game for you, and it encourages you to gr- to read. Yeah. What's wrong with that? No, true, and it go well with the art book as well, depending on how big the art book is. That way you got up to and if, everything. If you got an art. Well, book, yeah. You don't get you, art, you, no, you'd have to get multiple versions. <laughs> you'd have to pre order it multiple, <laughs> multiple times. times just to get all these. Um, please please don't put, like, these are like clip bookmarks. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, no, no, whoa, no, 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 no. These are like clip book- bookmarks where you have to, like, fold it and half of it goes on one side of the page yes, and half of it goes the ones, on the other. The ones. So you're, like, crimpling the top of your page and oh, yeah, ripping points. it. No, this is a snot. It's a snot. Th- these bookmarks are horrible. Okay. I know you don't have to use it that way. You can just use it as a standard bookmark, but no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, lo- I love the idea of them, but like I say, in practice, I don't think they are going to work. And over time, they would fall apart. Um, and it just, it's a poker snot. Poker snot for me. Yeah. Um, you're gonna love the next one. We're over into t- Toys R Us in Japan. Um, B5 jigsaw puzzles. Um, and. I don't know if you can... Mm. Okay, so so it's a bigger puzzle. It, yes, it, it is. It's a bigger puzzle. It's actually... Oh, no, this would be a difficult one because there's loads of, like, just purple or red. Air. Well, it's 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 like a gradient puzzle Yeah, almost. the violet one would be much harder to solve, which is points in its favour, in my opinion. I want a difficult jigsaw puzzle. Hmm, and it doesn't... I don't think it's a standard cut. No. I I quite like this. Oh, he's coming around on the jigsaw puzzle, which which is odd to say because it is just the box art. Yeah, like it is. It's yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not brand new artwork or no. anything like that. It's just the box art. But I like this. Okay, is it enough to give it a, a, a heart? I think so. Okay, I think it might be. It's it's funny actually. I, I just like off the top of my head, not thinking too much about it. It's also a poker heart from me. 
<laughs> Bizarrely, I don't know why. Um, it's B5 size. What's B5 versus A5? I, don't, I, I should know this working in communication and marketing, but I honestly don't know. It's a bit larger. Is it a it's bit a bit taller. taller. Okay, right, okay. So, yeah, it's a bit taller. Okay, right, so you get that as well. Uh, Nojima Online gives three notebooks um, with the double pack or a version notebook for a single game. So... Uh, so the single games are way better, right? Beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, they are. Yeah, <laughs> they're gorgeous in comparison. Um, the the double pack one kind of looks like a knockoff that you'd find yeah. in a store. It looks like something that you'd find in, you know, the works. The the yes, yes. that was exactly yes. where I was at, like a coloring <laughs> yes. book or something. Yes. <laughs> yes, and you open it up and just find a bunch of stolen artwork from online. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is exactly exactly how it looks. Um, but the single ones are gorgeous. Yeah, You've got like a gold spine down them. Yeah, it looks so. The double pack is a poker snot from me. The singles, you know what? Yeah, I'm giving this a heart. I'm giving this a poker heart. I, I'm I'm a sucker for uh, stationery and yeah, stuff anyway. Can... So giving me a notebook, I'm I'm happy every day of the week. You saw, yeah, that's a heart from me. Fantastic. So the next one, the these these companies are really weird. Bic Camera. Um, acrylic photo stand, clear file, which I'm, I'm not 100% sure what this is. So it's... Oh, <sighs> oh, no, I get it. So the two on the right are the, the, the actual photo stands. Yeah. Uh-huh. And the one on the left is w whatever photo you put in is only displayed in that cloud. And that's what the Pokemon I are see. dreaming it of. Okay. Oh, that's quite quick. And, and, it, and it's from Bic Camera. So yes. it's, it that, kind of makes sense that if you're going here, yeah. I don't know why you'd go to a camera store to buy your game, but apparently Japan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, because of the quirkiness and usefulness of this, and I can imagine like taking a, a screenshot or something in game and maybe printing it and displaying it. This is a, this is a poker hot from me. Um, Ah, oh, see, I think it's a snot for me. Okay. Just because, as somebody who doesn't have a lot of photographs anyway, mm -hmm. but even if I did, I wouldn't display it in these. Okay. I can understand that. So, okay. that's a snot for me, unfortunately. Okay, right. I can understand that. I'm thinking more of just my background, where I've got all my geeky stuff. They would work really well, especially if you could do something where, it depends on the size, if you got the correct cut, you could display Pokemon cards in them as well, like rare Pokemon cards or ones mm -hmm. that you're really happy about. Um, okay, Family Mart, we're back to the keychains, acrylic keychains. Are you, are you sold on either of these? No, it's just not for me. Okay, um, the one on the left I'd like. Um, oh, no, not enough to not enough to sway. Poker, poker's not for me as well. Um, yeah, uh, they are, they do look like little rubbery keychains. Yeah, not the thing is, I used to work in an arcade. Oh, okay. So, like, this is just feels like a like a two p machine prize. Yeah, I can I can see that. Um, Uru One dot net. Um, uh, deck cases. This is something we haven't seen yet. Like, this is no TCG. This right? is interesting. Pokemon TCG. Yeah. Okay. And and they look to be. I might be wrong. They look to be double deck boxes. Yeah. So they hold yeah. two decks, not just one. Um. Hmm. Ooh, I think it's, mm. it's, it's a difficult one. Okay. The Scarlet one has that same issue we've had over and over again, where it's just stock artwork. Yeah. The Violet one does have some nice new fresh artwork, mm. but it's got that horrible gray crystal background but don't that we're you, not a big but fan But don't of. you think it works better there, though? I do. Yeah. I do. Um, it, it, it's, mm, mm. it's hard for me because, A, it's a bad picture, yeah. so I don't know, like, what these are made of if they're just card they're no good to anyone um yeah yeah deck deck boxes are a hard one because they they it, can either be great yes or they can be garbage so i'm thinking that like some of the ones that you get are really sturdy cardboard mm -hmm. whereas some of them like these ones look like they're the type that fall apart after a couple of weeks of use yeah the thing is, with deck boxes for me, like it has to be able to be thrown in my bag mm. at the bottom of my suitcase and yeah. everything be the way I left it when I get out the other side. I get that. And I'm just not convinced that this would. Mm -hmm. um, as a freebie, maybe like 
would it help people get into the TCG? I'm not sure. Mm. I'm not sold on these. No. Okay. No, it's a snot for okay. me. Okay. Um, in terms of the design on the one from Violet, I absolutely love it. However, usefulness, um, I I don't see this working, and we can't be in the middle, so it's a poker snot from me, unfortunately. Yep. Um, Yudabashi camera, I believe. They also do a deck case. What do you think of this one, though? I think this one's cleaner. Yes. I like, I like, it's, it's simpler. It yeah. is stock artwork, but I like the layout of it. I like, I, I, I like the way this one looks. Um, I think it's still just card, though. Yeah, it doesn't. I think it looks like a card. Looks flimsy, doesn't deck it? Deck case. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. I, I can't I can't say yes for one and not for the other. So no, this is a snot from me. Agreed. Yeah, poke snot. Uh on to Don Quixote. Quixote. Oh, Quixote. Right, okay. Mug with lid <laughs> is the description. Um plastic by the looks of it. Yeah. I've, doesn't really the the last mug one was a poker hot from me. This one's a uh, go on. This is this is a hard snot, and I'm gonna give you the one reason why. Okay. And it's the fact that it's been cropped really horribly. Yeah, it has. Yeah. I, oh, oh, yes. I can see now that you've mentioned it. <laughs> the artwork on it of the yes. legendaries has been cropped horrendously. Terrible. So that's yeah. That's a straight snot. Agreed. Not not even uh, not even worth talking about. Ooh. Oh, you okay. like this one? So he he wado um um hey wado yeah. Hey to you too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do? Hey, nothing. Hey, what do with you? <laughs> I do podcast. <laughs> so, so they are giving away. Uh, how, do you, how do you pronounce this? A, a malamine bowl? Sure. It's just a bowl. It's right? a bowl. It's a bowl. It's a bowl. Um, this is. Hey, you have <laughs> bought cereal for a bowl before. <laughs> yes, I know. You know you have. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Um, you, oh, um, we're so very British that we can both turn around and know exactly what we're talking about. There. Oh, it is it really. I miss those days. Um, oh, I can't. I'm in the middle on this, but I've got to choose one of the other. Uh, uh, poker snot. Really? Yeah, not overthinking it, just poker snot. Yeah, I, do, I don't okay, need a this, bowl. This, this is a hot from me. Okay. I like this. Do, it's it's fine. It's, it's fun. Fa- it's functional. But that's the it's functional. Okay, it's functional but it's like, a thing I can take home, and I'll actually looks, use it on a daily basis. It looks rubbish. Look at the quality of the... Uh, Who cares? It might... <laughs> like, melamine. I'm going to look up what melamine is. I'm okay. going to find out if it's microwavable. Okay. <laughs> this is not the deciding fact. We got... It we, is. We got mad recording this. <laughs> <laughs> is melamine microwavable? <laughs> no, it's mine. <laughs> Foods and drinks should not be heated on melamine-based dinnerware. All right, yeah, no, I don't want it. <laughs> okay, on to, the, on to the next one, which is it's a cereal bowl. So that's a snot from me. No, if you, you. Can't, if you can't heat stuff in the microwave with yeah. it, I don't want it. <laughs> it's useless. Um, the Pokemon sent it. Does the A5 art book, which we've already discussed, so is the artwork book? I can't remember if we discussed it. Is the artwork book enough to give it a heart? Yes. Yes. Agreed. Instantly. Agreed. Yeah, I think the art book is probably what I would go for. Okay. I know I picked up the glasses earlier, yeah. but there were some um and ah and about that. Yeah. The art, art book. book is just an instant what, win. It's what you want, isn't it? Okay. Mr. Max has a body warmer case, which... Um... What? What is this? <laughs> what? Like, a case for your body warmer? I'm confused what it is. Yeah, a body like what what's a body warmer? Like I've always known body warmers to be like I I think the fancy word is it for a gilet. Yeah. Like a jacket without sleeves. Yeah. And I feel like that's not going to fit in here. I don't think that's what this is. Um No. <laughs> um it's a snot for me because I know I'm not buying something that I don't know what I'm getting as a pre-order bonus. Um the artwork doesn't really Actually, the artwork does save it slightly because it's a similar artwork that we've seen further up, but it's not enough. Yeah, to... but it's on a horrible beige background. Yeah, which isn't nice. Um, yeah, it's a snot for me. I'm afraid. It, it's a snot for me. I don't. I don't know what it is. No, <laughs> neither do I. Um, so we're on to the last one for the physical. So, Uni Apita Pego, maybe. Um, good effort. Thank you. Uh, tin badges. However, these badges. So I'm guessing these are just pins, right? A different style of pin. 
so these are... Oh, they might not be pins, actually, because they might be a different... No, they're not yeah. pins. They're badges. Yes. They're like... Have you ever have you ever seen like a badge machine, like a mega yes, badge machine I have. where you get little circle cuts yes. on a little bit of metal? That's what that's what this is. Oh, do we not think it's got a look li- and it's got a little pin at the back so you can put uh, it on your t shirt or on your I was kind of yeah. hoping because the quality looks really good, but it's how that is then implemented to a physical edition. The thing oh. is, it doesn't matter how good the artwork is because it's going on a tin badge with a little plastic covering on it. Yeah, like, true. they're never going to be good. No. no. Unless you are a collector of these type of badges. Um, I, I don't think anybody, well, somebody is because it's the world. Somebody is. But no. Poker snot? Poker snot. Poker snot. And I, I think, wow, I can't. No, sorry. I like there is two others that I I that aren't on that list that I've oh, come across. Um well known UK retailer Argos. If you pre-order the game, you get a lanyard. And the, the lanyard, let, let me let me see if I can copy this over to you so I can show you. No, this is the wrong one. Sorry. Um so it's a it's a lanyard split into two colours. One of them is the uh scarlet on the left, violet on the right, it's got the legendaries, it's got the starters. Who's asking for a lanyard? I don't mind it. It's, um, it's yeah, sure, but yeah. It, no, it's a snot from me. Like, I don't want to, like, I have to wear a lanyard at work. I don't want one at home as well. So you wouldn't wear this one to work? I wouldn't be allowed to wear this one to work. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> like, so it, it's useless. It doesn't it, work. It, it, in which case, yes, that's a snot for me. Okay. And then the... F- oh, the- what is this? Oh, they'll save the best one for last. Legendary Pokemon Aluminum War- Alum- Aluminum Aluminium Water Bottle plus First part- Partner Pokemon Notebook Bundle. Now, when I was looking gilly, I don't think the double pack is available anymore, Connie. However, the single packs are. This is on uh, the uh, store.nintendo.co.uk. For those of you that um, can't see it, well, you won't be able to see it, um, you get the game, a steel case, a bright yellow um, water bottle, uh, uh, which does look really nice, and then a bright yellow Pokemon notebook. Is And when we say water bottle, we're talking about like a flask. Yes, type thing. yes. Um, so one of the ones that's... Really, really nice. Yeah. Have I, have I saved the best till last? No, oh. because it costs more. Oh, it does as well. So it's sixty. Well, fifty nine pound forty nine. Do you not think for what you get though that is worth it? Do right. Here's the thing: because mm. the game's worth fifty quid. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so you get the steel book. Yeah. Which is the free inclusion. Mm. You're then paying an extra tenner for the water bottle and the notebook. Yeah. I don't think that counts as a pre order bonus. If you have to pay extra for it, okay. I don't think it counts as a pre order okay. bonus. Okay. So is it nice? Yes. Ooh. Would I like it? Yes. Okay. But you have to pay more for it, so I'm going to say it's not. Okay. Um, I get, I get. Which I, is a shame because yes. I really like I get, it. I get all your points. I completely agree with you. However, But this is where you're ordering from? <laughs> but, but this is where, well, I want it on day of, on day, I want it first thing on day of release. So I'm not ordering it from here, which is a shame because if I was, if, if, if I didn't need it on day of release and I wasn't concerned about, oh, it turns up at two o'clock in the afternoon or it turns up on the Saturday, this would be the one that I went for, the, the violet version, not the scarlet version, but you, you, you get the same yellow things. Um, I know you have to pay more, but this is a poker heart from me. It is gorgeous i lo- and the thing is that that notebook and the um aluminium water bottle i we haven't seen anywhere else is unique to this no um so yeah it's it's a poker heart from me i i will give you that i do think it's really nice i think it's i think it's one of the nicer things that we've seen in the uk yes agreed um and i spoke earlier about how much i like just a notebook on its own to get the water bottle as well that's fantastic and i would use it in my day-to-day life so it's practical Oh, fine. I'll give it a hot. Yeah. Even though I don't. I, I don't think it counts. <laughs> but I will give it a hot. Persuaded. Absolutely persuaded. Right. Okay. Connor, do you know what it's time for? 
Is, is it time for comments and questions? Comments and questions. <laughs> for anyone else wondering, because of how long this podcast is, we're going to skip some of the other content that we typically do uh, and we'll come back to them as normal next week. But we do have a couple of questions that we have been asked. Um, so Captain Mod has sent in the question over on Gmail. To commemorate the ending of Spooky Season, what is y'all's favourite ghost-type Pokemon? Thanks, thanks for the great weekly content. Hashtag... Top dollar gang. Hashtag join the Discord again. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. And like favorite it. ghost type Pokemon. Have you got one just off the top of your head that, like, while I stall oh, for time? I haven't off the and, top of my head. Suddenly... I mean, there's loads that immediately come to mind. Okay. Sableye is really good. Mm. Spiritomb's great. Mm. Gengar is obviously one of the OGs. Um, Chandelure is one that's grown on me over the years. Uh, Giratina. Yes, probably Giratina. Okay, Giratina is your your favorite. I can, I can understand that. There are some great, some absolutely great ghost type Pokemon. Um, I feel very much that the my favorite ghost type Pokemon are the ones that came in the earlier generations. But there are a couple in the later generations, like Casola. Like I love the name and I love its functionality in battles. Obviously, Gengar just. When you think of a ghost type Pokemon, who doesn't think of Gengar? Um, but I uh, another yeah, Mega um, Alolan Marowak is another ghost type oh, that's Pokemon. A great show. I, I absolutely love that design to the point where I have used it in a Sun and Moon run through before. I'm not a huge fan of Marowak, whereas the ghost type for me, the ghost fire type for me is out and out a better version all round in terms of typing utility and design like that bone with the, the the ghost fire coming off it is absolutely um absolutely gorgeous um i'm gonna throw one out for dragapult yeah well. i'm looking at dragapult as well and it, someone it, i went out of my way late game to go and catch i don't usually catch the pseudos especially if they're only available late game that one i was like no i want this on my team I, I can, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go get this i can understand that it's, it's absolutely gorgeous and shout out to mimikyu as well a, a cute ghost fairy type Pokemon. Abs absolutely love it. Um, oh, we could shout out everyone. There's like Decidueye there's so many and good ones. And... There's so many good ones. Um, I need to use more ghost type Pokemon. This is making me realize. Ghost type run only. Ghost type <laughs> Oh, that would be nice. Do it. Um, perfect. Let's move on to the next uh, question that comes from uh, Taylor Meglio. I know I pronounced your name right last time. Hopefully I've done it justice again this time. Um, based on the recent trailer that revealed Grievard, do you think we might be able to participate in clubs at our school in Scarlet and Violet? Do you think this might suggest an elongated stay at the school before the treasure hunt or perhaps a reason to return more frequently? So I'm not sure where you're getting clubs from. Uh, however, you can partake in lessons. We've had this confirmed to us that you're going to be able to partake in lessons with your Pokemon. Um, I'm not sure what you're going to be able to learn, but yeah, there's definitely going to be a reason to keep going back to the school. Okay. Um, I don't know how those um, how, how the the classes work. I don't know if you do. No. Okay. Um, I'm I am kind of thinking maybe the classes is something that there's enough there that makes you go, oh, I want to go back because it might have expanded dialogue options. It might have expanded uh, expanded um, information. So when you're out there in the world, you can now explore new places or you are able to get into places as a result of learning something in school. I do like the idea of that. Um, do, we, do I think we'll get an elongated stay at the school? I think it's very possible that actually all of the... Um, it, 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 all of the, you know, some games where you almost have like the the prelude section of the game, and that ends with mm -hmm. the display of the logo, and it's like now you're into the main game. I think we might get that with this game, where a lot of that intro starts in the school, and you don't really go outside of it. I hope that yeah, I, like you get your star, yes. you walk up to the school, you have your introduction. Yeah title screen yeah yeah i could see that happening i i i think it will i i think they they learned some very hard but needed lessons with sun and moon because that 
the start of that game is very long on repeat playthroughs. I think it works the first time you play it, but not on repeat repeat playthroughs. So I think they might have learned something with that there. Um I think I think we will get an elongated stay, uh, and I kind of hope there are reasons to revisit the school, and it isn't just something that you do the first part in, you're gone, and you never return to it. Which yeah, I don't I don't want it to be like your mum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and <laughs> there's a joke in there somewhere. Um, so something. I, I'm not. I'm too tired. We've been recording for too long for me to know it. <laughs> Brilliant. So um, if you've got a comment, a comment or question, you can reach us by leaving a comment on our podcast on YouTube or by emailing emailing goldenrodpod at gmail dot com or by leaving it on our Discord channel. Plug time. What have you got in twenty seconds or less? <laughs> Uh, I've got that HM video coming out at some point this week. Boom. Um, I am wrapping up the end of my Cage Lock series. That will that the last episode goes live today. Um, between the gap between that and uh, Scarlet and Violet coming out, I am going to publish two of the videos that I spoke about. What it seems like three months ago, where I have a limited amount of time to build a team to take on the Elite Four, which have had their levels boosted. By 50%, I think. And it's it's just hilarious, insanity, and it doesn't go as well as I expect. Um, and that's the show for this week, if you've gotten this far. Seriously, if you've gotten this far, you're a top dollar, aren't you? Connor, where can we find you? You can find me on my YouTube channel at Captain Fidget or on Twitter at Cap Fidget. Fantastic. And I'm Ben, and you can find me as Professor Homan Gaming on YouTube and Professor Homan on Twitter and Twitch. As for the Gone Rob Podcast, you can find us on the usual platform. Search for Gone Rob Podcast on YouTube or on your usual podcast app. Leave a like on YouTube or a five-star review if you're listening as a podcast. We'll be back next Friday for another week of Pokemon podcast content. See ya! See ya!